All right, I have removed the rubber strips from my Adafruit NeoPixels. These are the 144 per meter skinny strips. And, you know, never mind all that. That's just my bench setup. But I'm getting ready to test some diffusion and some different blades and see what looks right. All right, so this is going to be test number one. So this is with, uh, you know, the custom Saber Shops foam wrap for one inch blades. And this is a trans white blade. Uh, there's no other diffusion in here, so it's just a trans. All right, so here we go. TCSS trans white and foam. It's pretty good. There's some corn cobbing here. I don't know if you can see it. And there's some corn cobbing here where you can see the individual LEDs. So I think you're going to have to do a little bit more than just the foam wrap. I think you're definitely going to have to put, you know, cellophane around it. I'm going to go for some color changes. That blue is just sick. That blue is sick. I, I don't even know if that's going to come out on camera, but that is just absolutely sick. Lock up. All right, so now I'm going to do the same test of the foam, but inside a clear uh, blade, not a trans white blade. This is a clear blade. It's not sanding. It doesn't, still doesn't have any uh, diffusion film around the foam. So it's just a clear blade. And never mind the tip, because this is a mirrored tip. It's not set up for NeoPixel. Here we go. You know, the corn cobbing is a lot more evident. I don't know if it's going to turn out on camera, but, you know, really bad corn cobbing all along through there. Really bad. So, you know, the trans white's definitely better for hiding the corn cobbing, for sure. I'm going to go for some color changes with the camera right there close. There's the pure red. Oh no, there's the pure red right there. Orange. Oh, goldish. Green. Pure green. Now there's your pure green right there. Teal. Ooh, there's that pure blue, man. That thing is freaking incredible, that blue on NeoPix. It's pretty. We just got to get rid of this corn cobbing. So I'm going to try wrapping some cellophane around here and see if we can get rid of that corn cobbing. So here's trans white and diffusion film. Man, there's still corn cobbing. Hmm. It's almost like we're going to have to wrap some film around the NeoPixels before they go in the, in the foam tube.
corn cobbing's real apparent on the um, on the clear blades with the 7 8 diffusion film, the 7 8 foam tube, and the 30 inches of diffusion film around it. Of course, these blades aren't sanded. That's going to diffuse more of this, too. Okay, so for this last test, this is an old Kylo Ren BS blade, so it's got the the string blade diffuser strip right inside the blade, but the blade is clear. Then I've wrapped the, the blade in foam and cellophane and shoved it into this tube and diffuser, and it was tight because I used that TCSS foam because I just don't have foam padding yet. But I know I need to go out and buy foam padding. So here's the test of, of that diffusion style, NeoPixel. You have to forgive me, I was doing auto mechanic work here today on this bench. My truck wasn't running. Go for some color changes. You know, the red is pretty wicked there. That's the best color out of all the colors. I think this is the diffusion style that I need to use. <laughs> 